What is up my friends? Welcome to the video. I know it's been two weeks since I posted the video. I love and appreciate you guys for just reminding me of this. I went on vacation with my family. Uh, it was great to enjoy the time with them, but I'm coming back with a banger today, guys. Crispy waffle hash browns, only 80 cows per, and we're going to turn it into a 317 cow breakfast sandwich. Look at it. Wait, wait, look at me build this thing. Oh my goodness, guys. This is an absolute banger. And if you could, before we begin, please smash that thumbs up button for you to support the channel. And then also if you're new around here please hit that subscribe button end of the video biggest sale i've ever done on any of my recipe books and also big giveaway of recipe books and cookie butter let's get into it first thing you need to do is take your russet potatoes and you're going to peel them take your time don't peel your fingers then once you've done that you're going to take your grater and you're going to grate down your potatoes be really really careful here i recommend if you have like one of those gloves that you can wear when doing these uh, i highly recommend it i just use my hands um i just um, dig down my fingers so i just make sure i don't get too close to the grater whenever I'm doing this. Just be careful, guys. Just be careful. You're going to notice I, I don't go all the way down to the bottom. I have like a little nub that's left. I'm going to let those potatoes sit in the water for about 15, 20 minutes. What this does is it helps pull some starch out of the potatoes. So AKA it's pulling more liquid out of the potatoes. So then whenever we make them, they get extra, extra crispy. So now you're going to drain your potato shreds and then you're going to add to a towel. This isn't a cheese cloth. This is a towel I have and you're going to wrap it up and you're going to drain out as much liquid as you possibly can. Literally just do your, get a workout out of it. Get all all that liquid out of there and then you're going to add to a bowl and you're going to add your cornstarch this is going to help with getting it extra crispy too it's such a small amount of cornstarch then you're going to add your sea salt black pepper and garlic powder you can honestly season them however you like so now here's the trick instead of having to form our hash browns and then freeze them in order to be able to make them we're actually going to help seal them with the waffle makers so what i like to do is i'll take a, a like a little dish and then pack the hash browns in there and then add it to the waffle makers for about three minutes this holds them together so then when Whenever I put them in the air fryer, I'm able to air fry them, cook them that way, so they hold together that way. This is a little hack, and these Dash Mini waffle makers are amazing. They're only like $9.99 on Amazon. I highly, highly recommend getting one of those. I'll have it linked in the description below on my Amazon storefront. And so once you've cooked all your potatoes in the waffle makers, then add to your air fryer on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for nine minutes, flip after five minutes, and then it is time to enjoy the crispiness, guys. These are absolutely incredible. I love hash browns. It was just such a, always such a pain in the butt cheeks to make them because you had to find a way to get them to, how to explain it. It's either you needed to freeze them or you had to put them in some type of mold in order to be able to actually make them in the air fryer. Uh, Cause you guys have seen previous versions where I had to use my mini cheesecake pans. So I was like, all right, man, how do I get these things to hold together? So then I can put them in the air fryer and then oh, voila. It's like, all right, man, just put them in your mini waffle maker and then you got, you got it. You got it. You freaking got it. I mean, guys, you want to hear the Crunchyrooski? Dip it. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Freaking Sam, wow. The Dash waffle makers are such a, I'm going to start using them more because they're $10 on Amazon for each one. You can do so much with it. And so I'm gonna probably film a video here soon where I like make six different recipes or something with them. But yeah, man, it's, uh, they're great. Wow. What I'm about to do now, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna use them as buns for a breakfast sandwich. You hear that? For a breakfast sandwich. Yeah. <sighs> All right, let's turn these hash browns into a breakfast sammy. So what you're gonna do is take your mini springform cheesecake pans and you're gonna line them with aluminum foil. I just wrap it around my 
fits so then I can fit it into the cheesecake pan without ripping it. Make sure you do not rip the aluminum foil on the bottom little insides of the cheesecake pan. It's really easy to rip it, but obviously your egg whites are gonna go everywhere if you do that. Spray with nonstick cooking spray. Add 150 grams of egg whites to each one. Seven grams of your 2% Colby Jack cheese. Salt, pepper, mix it around with your finger if you're the one eating those. And then repeat that process for all four of your egg white patties. You're gonna add it to your air fryer on 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. And then you're gonna carefully take them out of the aluminum foil. If you've got fingers that can withstand a lot of heat, do what I'm doing right here, but obviously just be careful. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I just highly recommend this. This is really, really hot. It's really, really hot. And please, if you have yet not, smash that thumbs up button. Please smash that thumbs up button right now. It's a free way to support the channel. So you're gonna add half a slice of 2% Colby Jack cheese to the top of each one of these, and you're gonna add it back to the air fryer for another two minutes or so just to melt the cheese. And then it's time to build the sandwich. You're gonna add your avocado, your egg white patty, and then your top hash brown. And then it is time to enjoy my friends. Hash browns as buns, breakfast sammy with the egg white patty is just looking thick, 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 thick. It's got that taran taran. Oh baby. Oh my God. Holy, holy crap. That is fire freaking flames. I just had some avocado spillage though. This is not, it's not gonna look that pretty right now. Cause your boy took a fat bite. It holds so much moisture. Mmm. It's ridiculous. It does not look that good. Guys, this does not look good at all. But this is one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. Mmm. Hold on. Watch, I'm gonna slice this in half. Okay. This is what it looks like. Tell me that doesn't look. The only thing is that doesn't look that phenomenal. So like, I'm just talking about the egg white patty, man. Holds up super well, unless you just take a savage bite like I just did. But the only thing is with the potatoes is they oxidize. That's really it. Like, they're gonna turn brown if you're not super fast. And I was filming and so I wasn't like super duper fast about it. But, unreal guys. Holy crap. And these egg white patties, guys. You guys gotta make these and you can make them for sandwiches. You can do them whatever you want. You don't have to make an ash brown sandwich. I highly recommend you should. You freaking should, because this is bomb. You definitely should. All right, I'm gonna, pick, uh, I'm gonna pick one of you guys to win the Steal of the Summer giveaway. And what that is is, you literally get all my recipe books for like now. You get all the all five of the recipe books I've ever created. You'll get all future recipe books I ever put out. You're gonna get access to my recipe vault for life and you're gonna get lifetime access to my nutritional freedom course as well. All I need you to do is let me know in the comments below what's your favorite breakfast item of all time. What it, What is it? Where is it? It could be from a fast food restaurant. It could be a homemade recipe. It could be what if you're making breakfast and it is your dream breakfast. What are you having? Let me know in the comments below. I'm picking one of you guys to win that. First link in the description below is going to be the exact sale for the Steel of the Summer. You get up to 95% off my recipe books. This is uh, absurd. The Steel of the Summer deal is by far the best deal I've ever offered on any of my recipe books and any of my products ever, ever, ever. So I highly recommend first link in the description below. Just check it out. Go, to, go give it a look. So if you've yet not, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. I love and appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.